Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Ed Games Legends Gamer Pro. This is more like the Pandora's box from Ed Games. And so for the people not familiar with the Pandora box or a two player stick in general, basically what you're going to get is this plug and play console that includes controls and we can play some old school retro games. But the Legend Gamer Pro from Ed Games has a lot of great things like the trackball, pinball controls and many awesome features that you're missing out with the Chinese Pandora's box. So for the people who are familiar with the arcade machine, there will be a more like similarities, like we having the same possibilities when it comes to streaming, bringing your own games. But there's also something where we're going to talk about in this video, so consider subscribing, a lot of great stuff here on the channel coming up. But let's talk about what we have in the box. It comes with all the necessary cables like the USB cable, HDMI, micro USB, but so far I know there is no power supply. So you need to grab your power from your television USB 5 volt or get yourself a separate power supply. So that's something you need to take consideration. So the unit itself is basically the game system where all the magic will happen. But this device itself has also quite some different ways to connect to the internet. We have of course the Wi-Fi edition, but what you can do, you can use an ethernet connection too. It makes the stick wireless, but you can also connect it with a USB cable, so make the stick wired if you want to do it this way. So having the HDMI connection for connecting it to a television, ethernet and Wi-Fi connectivity for getting yourself the updates. We also have the option, what the box already said, that we can use a controller on the device itself if you don't want to use the arcade stick. Let's talk about the joystick itself and how is the quality because I really was a big fan of the arcade machine and the quality of the buttons. But the question remains is this the same with the Legend Gamer Pro arcade stick? There are some differences that we're going to talk about later in this video between the arcade version and this version. First of all we're going to get is an 8 button layout and of course the trackball that I'm very pleased with because the trackball is pretty cool if you want to play some golfing games or some other retro stuff. I understand why they chosen for the 8 button layout, but when you want to play 8 button games, you will need to stream the latest games. Of course, we're having the rewind button, play 1, play 2 and the home button here on the top. Play 2 has the same layout and at the right top we're having the on and off switch and there are no spinners with this version. And the last part of course, we're having the trackball. The trackball itself, I'm very glad they added this to the stick. Alright, so the joystick quality is similar like the arcade stick and I must say this is not like in Sama or Saimatsu, but it's also not like the Wicked Wiggle Sticks from the Pandora's boxes, more like between it. So okay, we're having here the buttons, the buttons are exactly the same story, I really love the touch, I play a lot with my arcade machine and the same goes with this thing, I love the button layout, but also the button touch. So we also have the rewind button over here, it's a very cool addition, so if you want to do a little bit of cheating and you want to rewind the game, that is possible to a certain point, but keep in mind, not all the games are supported by this option. So we're having the player 1 over here and the player 2 option for starting a game or entering a credit. And of course we're having the famous add game button. The way the Pandora boxes have no SPS ratio and no quick load quick save in most of the Pandora boxes. With the add games the first version already has 5 save slots and do a lot of different stuff for SPS ratio and also for the scan filter. So that's thing that's pretty cool in my opinion. We have a button mapping where we can change it out very easily. As you can see, the display mode can be changed in different express ratios. So this is very deluxe and very cool. Something we don't have with the Pandora's boxes and many other different systems. Okay, so let's power on the device itself. And when powering on, you will see the two Bluetooth icons will blink. This means it will try to search a connection with the device itself. You can also put it in USB mode by holding the player 2 button. The trackball itself is the same like with the arcade machine and has quite some resistance. It feels quite nice and playing with it, it feels like a real okay trackball to me. But keep in mind, it cannot be compared with the very nice Ultimark that I've reviewed. So the Pro Stick and the arcade version have the side buttons. These are needed for playing some pinball games. Of course you can use it with the normal button, but it gives more like an authentic experience in my opinion. The buttons are very clicky and feel quite nice. Of course one for the flipper and the other one for the notch. So with the original control board with the arcade machine, we're going to get some extra connections. And the reason why is because we can do some pretty wicked stuff. We can use the control panel inside an arcade machine. So with the arcade machine, it's hot swappable. So if you want to have an 8 button configuration, you can basically use your pro stick inside the arcade machine. And compared with the other one, as you can see, the button layout is slightly different. And also with the arcade machine, we have some spinners, but we don't have with the pro stick. 
But okay, so what you need to do is the following thing. You need to remove the side flipper buttons simply because we can't add it to the system itself. You shall need to remove the extra plate or plastic plate that is going to get attached with the pro stick and you need to remove it otherwise you can use it on the arcade machine. If you've removed the other version you can basically just put it in here, alright let's be gentle and that's the only thing. But it does it pretty cool, they can just attach the original cables into the pro stick and then we're having no spinners but we will have eight buttons so if you want to do let's say more like modern game playing you want to stream them to your arcade machine this is also a way you can do this but i don't need to forget of course remove this tiny screw over here simply because we need to have the long one that comes with the arcade machine otherwise you can't use it, or better said you can't attach it to your system so that's what we're going to need to do put the long ones in and we can attach it to the arcade machine so that's it that's pretty cool in my opinion, they can basically make it hot swappable, that's the reason why they completely changed the layout of the original arcade machine. And we can play some games on the original arcade machine with the pro stick. So beside all the fancy stuff that you can do with it, how is the build quality? So as you can see the bottom part is fully made of very thick plastic. As you can see the T-molding is quite nice, that groom look, it looks very good, got a very thick plastic protection on it. In general I do like the quality of the stick, it weighs quite heavy, so for plastic combined with wood, yeah, I think it's not bad at all. And the quality is pretty decent for one with a plastic shell. Okay so let's power on the device itself and what are we going to get? And the reason why I'm saying what are we going to get, I did see some fellow YouTubers were complaining about the input lag. And I did some messing around with it, putting the receiver on a different position, but I didn't have any issues at all. But okay, so the games itself on the device itself, there are quite some different versions and the variation is quite nice. Here at the left side you can see we're having quite some different options and leaderboards. The channels, that's more like what kind of version we're going to get. The platforms, we have arcade, genesis, other consoles and the input. And this is something I like about it. If you want to play games with a trackball, you can search them very easily like this. But what about the game collection? So the game collection is smaller than with the arcade machine. The arcade machine comes with 350 games and the Pro Stick comes with 150 games. It's still a lot of games in my opinion. And the games itself are more like a mix of everything. And of course it are game games and also console games. So for the rest, it's seriously a game for everybody. And that is something that I can really appreciate with the stick itself. Beside the point of having so many new options, you can also, let's say, add new games. You can stream some games. But let's talk about that. So with the add games, you're not having, let's say, a system with only lockdown with 150 games. We also have ArcadeNet where you can have this monthly subscription and that we can basically stream games. You can bring your games with streaming. And of course, we can use coin-ops. If you add a naughty stick, you can do this very easily, plug and play. And so we're having many new options with the ad games. Also a very great feature, but I wanted to show you is that we're having the rotation mode. And with the rotation mode, we can rotate the display and use it for shoot em ups. So when using the rotation mode, you will need to reboot the system. It takes a couple of seconds and it's very fun to do so. So when booting it up, let's turn the display like this for the old school games. And let's have some old school arcade fun. As you can see over here, sometimes they will give us a new game pack to download. So that is something that is pretty neat from Ad Games itself, that it will have in support in many ways. But it's just really cool to play these games or the shoot 'em ups or the Burger King, all the games that basically need a vertical screen. Of course you need to have it yourself, but it's a pretty neat feature that the Ad Games Pro has. And if you're looking at the Pandora box and all the other versions, I have personally never seen something like this before with a plug and play device like this. When you're pressing the add games button, you can see we're having the option to have the fill screen and the pixel perfect also for this mode. So that's pretty neat. So nothing in this world is perfect and the Legend Gamer Pro is indeed not perfect like many items, but it is still one of the awesome devices that I have reviewed this year. Pandora boxes, Capcom Home Arcade, Neo Geo Stick, there is always something they messed up. And I mean with messed up, there is something I'm missing, something that is not as good enough. But with the Legend Pro, what I do like about it, that is the compatibility with so many games. We have so many new options. So it's not only the games that are built in, the emulation is good. And if you're done with the 150 games, you can always stream, add new stuff. So there is so much to do with the stick. 
and I think personally that you can enjoy this product for a very long time. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and I will see you in the next video.